Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Astro Leah, Katie9 LFZ, back at it again. And this time I was like, okay, I got a number of videos on the docket, so to speak. But I was like, is there any themes? Because usually there are themes to these nights. And my dad was like, oh, it's antenna building night. And I was like, hmm, because we have a certain friend, Uncle Ape, Uncle the Smoking Ape, however that would be, and he sent me an antenna. It's a nine to one um, unbalanced, unbalanced ear chi antenna. And he actually 3D printed all the parts I would need for it, the little box, everything. All the wire winders, everything for me, so that I would have this little kit that I can put together and this antenna that I can test out. It's actually an end-fed antenna, the first time I've ever done that. And it's got, as he likes to call it, a toroid, which was, as you will see, a very interesting experience for me. My first toroid winding um, didn't go all that well. I had to try multiple times and it took me quite a while to figure out, but we got there in the end, we got all the soldering done, and then you'll see towards the end of the video, I tested it out and it worked amazingly without any like extra snipping or anything. It just, it worked great, which of course I love because a quick antenna that is fun and easy to throw together is always a great time. And I got to make a contact with somebody in West Virginia. I will be uploading that full ride too um, as a separate video because you don't want to watch me talk to him for 10 minutes in an antenna building video. But he was very nice and I will include a little snippet of um, our conversation. So I apologize in advance. It did get dark very quickly while I was testing the antenna because it's winter time, but I did freeze for this. So without any further ado, I hope you enjoy the video and yeah, let's get right into it. Surprise, surprise, I have a box. There is the box that the toroid is going to go into. A couple wire winders. Magenta, of course, because we all know that's the ape's favorite color. Some little stakes. And some wires. That I just magically wrapped around this toroid. Because, let me tell you, I am not the best at toroid wrapping. This took me a solid half an hour to figure out. Granted, it's my first toroid. Um... But yeah, it was, it was quite the experience, I would say. I have learned a lot of knowledge and found out that I do not like wrapping toroids. <laughs> so, um, it goes green, red, black, and then you wrap it around nine times. And then it goes green, red, black on the other side too. And in the directions, which I will have down below, um, it tells you like, the left black wire and the right red wire. And I'm going to do my best not to screw that up because I know I am going to. And that would be um, interesting. Also, I took the top of this to put all the little tiny parts in because I'm really good at losing tiny parts. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my soldering iron turned on and we'll get started with this. A lot of trying later, and this is what I've ended up with. I have my toroid with this red wire, 
this green wire, which kept getting shorter, so it's now um, inconveniently short, but I think I can still make it work, which I soldered the other green wire onto. These two are twisted together, and they are going to go in the SO239, and then this black and red one are the first one I did that are just normally soldered together. It's, it's a bit wacky looking, I will admit that, um, but I think, I think it will work. I'm hoping that it will work. That, that's what I'm crossing my fingers for. So, let's put her in and get the SO239 soldered. So, should end up that this one goes over here. And this one goes over here. And the last one that's going to have to be put into place is this. And that is a little long. I think that might be the tightest I can get that. Now, the ones on the outside have a slightly interesting way of going on. And I took a picture of it because I knew I was going to mess up putting these back together again. So, <laughs> I did take the perfect picture to make sure that this turned out the way I wanted it. So, this one is for the antenna, this one is for the counterpoise. And that is quite obviously an SO, well, I shouldn't say quite obviously. Um, it's an SO239, which will connect to the coax, which will connect to the radio. So I can actually use this thing for radio purposes, which is kind of the entire point of building an antenna, is to get on the air with it. Now the last thing I need to do is solder on the SO239. So, I will be back after doing that in a second. Bravo, we are finished. You can see the toroids in there, pretty snug. We have we have the SO239 all soldered in. All the wires are going to the right places. The toroids still holding together pretty well and it is time to actually make the antenna. Now for this, I'm going to go for the same thing that Ape used in his video, which was, um, if I'm not mistaken, 29 feet. So I'm going to go cut that out of wire real quick. Well, that was easy. Now, what's the next step? It should be to take the end of my antenna and put it on a little fork connector. Oh, look at that. Easy peasy. Okay, so in the instructions it says that if you have long enough coax for the antenna itself, you do not need an additional counterpoise. I'm probably going to see how it does with the counterpoise, and if it does great, then great. If it doesn't do great, then I'll probably put a counterpoise on it. But my coax is significantly longer than 16 feet, I believe. Um, so it should it should be pretty good, actually. Time to get this thing hoisted up in the tree and uh, I've run into a bit of a problem in being that I'm at the top of the tree and I still have this much wire to go. So, a couple of options here. I can either, instead of doing straight up and down vertical, I could put it at a diagonal or I could break out my DX commander pole and uh, give that one a go. I think. For now, I will try the diagonal solution. Okay, so this is what we are working with. We have the big tree, and there's a string up there holding in the antenna. And you can see here is my toroid transformer with some snazzy green tape on it. And I attached this to the second tree, which is, <laughs> ignore that. Um, so this is sort of the the antenna shape that I got going on. 
I'm just experimenting around, who knows? And here is my G90 with my BioNO battery. And uh, you, you see that snazzy little G90 stand? Nice little magenta color, just like, just like the antenna. It's because it's from Mate 2. So let's test out the stand and let's test out this antenna. Okay, so my goal with this is to tune around, see see how this antenna does SWR wise, what kind of bands it'll tune up on, and then try and make a contact. So let's get the radio powered on. Wow, that is actually really good. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but the SWR is really low for that. Awesome. A little bit higher for 20 meters, but nothing the tuner can't handle. Ooh, 15 meters. Really nice there too. Awesome. So, for first tune up of this thing, and just cutting to uh, 29 feet, that actually works really well. Let's go back to uh, 40 meters and see what we can do. KD nine LFZ. KD nine question mark. This is W eight RBD. Uh, so Kilo Delta nine Lima Foxtrot Zulu. Awesome. Good evening to you, Bob, as well. My name is Leah. I am in Wisconsin. I'm testing out my new antenna that I just built. Awesome. Thank you so much, W8RBD. Thank you so much for helping me out with my antenna and taking the time to chat with me a little bit. So I will say 73 as well and go inside before my fingers fall off. Here we are, the antenna is built and it works amazingly, which I am so happy about. Everything went according to plan. Let's go with that. And I just wanna personally thank Ape for sending us that little box of goodies. If you wanna see us um, open that box, I will have a link in the description for my dad's video, which he posted of us opening the Ape box of goodies. So thank you to Ape for that. And yeah, very successful antenna. It worked perfectly. I just threw it up in a tree, whatever angle came out of it. And so yeah, amazing. It worked amazing, which I am super, super happy about. Thank you all so much for watching this video with me and for coming along for the antenna building process. So I hope you all have a great day. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, I think that's everything. <laughs> I think that's everything. So without any further ado, 73 and have a great weekend. Oh yeah. Happy Halloween. Duh. <laughs>